um, uh, because if you don't flaunt it, who's going to know you're homosexual or, or not, you see? What they wanted to do was to flaunt it and uh, to not lose their jobs because of it. If we were going to go on a crusade across the nation and try to do away with the homosexuals, uh, then we certainly would have done it on June the 8th after one of the most overwhelming victories in the country. Um, uh, but we didn't. We, we, we tried to avoid it and went into a place called Norfolk, Virginia, and were met with protest and uh, um, all kinds of problems. And... Uh, uh, every oh, oh, oh. Security agents, security agents. No, no, let, let him stay. No. Let him stay. Well, let at least stay. it's a fruit pie. People shouldn't teach. Okay. People who can't physically have a child shouldn't teach. Okay, we all, we know that's... Okay, okay. all right. Yeah. What about it sinful. being sinful? That's sinful. Read the Gospels. You know, everybody thumps the Bible. Read the Gospels, the teachings of Christ, the life of Christ, the books of the Gospel, mm -hmm. and it's never mentioned once. In fact, Christ talks about love. It's very interesting. They carry this Bible in one hand and hatred in the other hand and said it's sinful. Christ himself said nothing about it. I don't nothing. know the Bible all that well, but I'm uh -huh. sure there must that, be some reference no. in the Bible to... In, 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 in the teachings of Paul, whose own life is questionable, there's reference to it. But the Gospels, which is Christianity, you know, Jesus, mm -hmm. his life and his teaching, it is never, ever even hinted at, suggested, or even in, in, in any kind of context can you find anything like that. Just the opposite. Okay. Christ says, love thy neighbor. Okay. Do unto the neighbor as you'd want the neighbor to do unto you. Okay. And so these people who thump the Bible have never really read the Bible, the Gospels. Well, I'm and, not a Bible thumper, uh -huh. but... <laughs> to the Bible thumpers, uh -huh. to those who are out there, reread the Gospels, and live the life of the Gospels, and you would do what Christ says is to accept everyone. It is so ironic that these people carry the Bible in one hand and anti-Christ attitudes in the other. Okay, Harvey, we have to take a break. <laughs> we'll be back in just Get a your moment. Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We're uh, discussing Proposition Six this morning with Supervisor from San Francisco, Harvey Milk. And Harvey, uh, just before the <laughs> break, you asked our viewers to go get the Bible. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of those did that, but really, you know, what I think we're dealing with here is a right-wing conservative backlash or a, a movement. Uh. And the polls show that the, the Briggs Initiative, the anti-gay initiative, is winning in the polls by a 63% margin. Do you think that speaks of Northern California or Southern California, which is more well, conservative? There are all kinds of polls. and. Uh, the final poll will be on November 7th, and sure. uh, if we can shatter the myths enough, I think the polls are going to change. But you brought up something very uh, interesting, and I think you have been victimized, like so many of us, about this right-wing movement. I think that there is no right-wing movement. That there is not? There is not. Let me explain. I think that the right-wing has talked about it, and packaged it, and put it on a shelf like a box of cereal, and people are buying it. It's important that some people know my thoughts. 